Welcome, I'm Bri the Builder, and in this video, I'm gonna be building this amazing model kit from Tamiya. I've never put together a motorcycle model kit before, so this should be pretty interesting. And of course, I decided to kind of go a little bit over the top and pick up a couple detail sets. So I have both the detail set from Tamiya for the front forks, as well as a detail set from Top Studio that has a bunch of other detail parts. So let's get to it. With the engine essentially built, the instructions have it moving on to adding the clutch. Um, the clutch piece that comes with the Tamiya kit is relatively simple, and with it being as exposed as it is, um, the Top Studio clutch is going to be a really nice addition. Alright, so that little clutch all by itself was 22 different pieces. That's kind of crazy. But that is a far better detailed piece uh, than what comes with the kit by default. engine is 
fully built and painted. There is this little piece of flex hose. We go on right there. Next on our frame here, I've got to remove both this lower bracket uh, and this little spring piece. So those are replaced with Top Studios pieces. damper um, is the first bit that we'll be using the detail up part series uh, from Tamiya itself. This is part of the front fork set.
with a bit more of the detail work done, it is ready to install the chain and the rear damper. All right, so for now at least, that just kind of sits right there. And then the rear damper That's not gonna stay, but it's okay. All right, so this then slips through. And we have a little tiny screw. So the handlebar components that come with the kit are relatively simple um, and the ones that come from Top Studio are relatively complex. So I think this ought to look very cool once it's assembled. I did have to pre-paint the hand grips themselves because there's a little piece, two pieces of very fine wire that are wrapped around those handles. Um, and it would be nearly impossible to paint around them. So,
Attaching the essentially fuel tank, um, but it is the fuel tank and seat assembly. So I actually have the other side pretty much, well I'm pretty sure, fully decal. Um, after I dip the decal in water, I'm just going to let it sit for a couple seconds, I'm going to paint on some micro set to the area that's going to receive the decal. Then I will soak any excess water off of the decal. And after that sits for a couple seconds, it will loosen up. And essentially after the decal kind of loosens up on its own, uh, that's when you can apply it. You don't, you don't want to actually just let the decal sit in water. There is, and you can tell, like, all these decal sheets are a little bit sticky. There is actually an adhesive in there that helps the decal stick to the surface of the model. If you just let the decal sit in water, you're getting rid of all of that adhesive. And while things like uh, Microset, and there are other brands, while those do help the decal to adhere to the surface, uh, getting rid of the decals built-in adhesive, it's not a good idea. You're better off kind of using it as a supplement. There we go, it's starting to slide around. So I like getting that over to an edge. And I'll grab the corner and then just kind of slide it into place. Now, when you're doing smaller decals, um, I often just pick them up with my brush. But depending on the size of the decal, you may need to use something like a, uh, a Q-tip to help slide it around. And then depending on the location that it's going, sometimes you just have to kind of guess and get close. And other times you can get it in the exact right spot. So 
that's going to be really close right there. Okay, there is a curve in this part of the P that lines up with the vent opening there. Then Microsol can go over the top. Once it's basically set and not easy to move, you can start applying the Microsol. And Microsol, its purpose is to slightly dissolve and just soften the decal so it adheres to the surface and essentially conforms and ends up looking really like paint. Now, nothing's perfect. But if you try to move the decals too much after you start applying the Microsoft, um, they will bunch up and turn to mush. So if you want to adjust anything, you want to do that right away or don't do it. Right, the micro set is all right to continue to adjust. It's just like some glue that helps hold it to the surface. The Microsol actually does soften the decal so any work you try to do after you apply Microsol can definitely ruin the decal. starts to kind of wrinkle, uh, you will be able to continue to just kind of let it sit, let it dry mostly, and then add some more Microsol, and you will eventually get it to lay down into those surfaces.
what I'm doing here, I'm going to put some super glue onto a little piece of plastic so I can hopefully just dip the very tip of my toothpick and put a little dot. And then for all of these that were labeled in the instructions as the, I think, number 40 decal, the big screw heads, uh, the photo etch also has a whole bunch of screw heads. So I am going to go around and finish doing all of those little screw heads everywhere uh, and essentially little, I guess, rivet heads. So I will be right back with the finished product. This has definitely been one of the coolest builds I've done so far. I really enjoyed building up this model kit from Tamiya. The amount of photo watch that I've added is pretty cool. It all looks incredibly realistic, even though a lot of the photo etch is covered up by a lot of the cowls. Um, overall, 
very cool build, lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.